Hi guys, so Labour MP Tan Deshi asked a very important question about possible corruption by Boris Johnson and he asked this question to Michael Gove. So let's hear what he had to say. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Mr Speaker, the first duty of any government is to keep its citizens and its country safe and secure. However, the Prime Minister, having gradually forced out a highly respected national security expert, has decided to replace him with his political friend as the next national security adviser, someone who has never worked in defence or security intelligence, and who in fact until recently was the head of, of the Scotch Whiskey Association and the CEO of the London Chamber of Commerce and Industry. So can the Secretary of State explain why does the government hate hiring experts? And can he also confirm widespread rumours that the Prime Minister believes his plumber should be the next manager of the England football team? Well, um, speaking as a supporter of the Scotland football team, um, I think that um, appointing a plumber to be the manager of the England football team would be a novel and interesting way of of evening the odds, and the SNP are with me, um, with me on that. <laughs> so we all had a good laugh there, uh, Michael Gove. That was hilarious, you know, get Boris Johnson to hire a plumber to be the next England manager. But you notice that he avoided the actual question, the real question. And this is actually something that I find a little bit frustrating in uh, these question and answer sessions, where you have an MP who asks a, num a number of questions and then the minister or the, the Tory who is responding is able to pick and choose which questions to respond to. I think it would be much better just to choose, choose one question to ask so that they can't avoid it. This question about uh, Boris Johnson hiring a plumber is irrelevant, is a stupid question. I don't know why the, why the hell he, answer, he asked this question in the first place. But the first question, I think, was more important. Why David Frost is replacing a civil servant. And David Frost has no background on security or defence. But he's going to be the next national security advisor. Why? And it's a, it's a pity that Michael Gove couldn't respond to that. He decided to talk about football instead. And everyone had a laugh. He's making a mockery of Parliament. But I think on the other side, politicians who are asking him questions need to focus on one topic at a time. Allowing the minister to pick and choose their answers is allowing them to avoid scrutiny. Boris Johnson hired David Frost. Why did he do that? Why is he asking David Frost to be a national security advisor when he doesn't have any background in that field? Is it jobs for the boys? Is it possible corruption? I don't know. And unfortunately, we don't, we don't get to the bottom of this because Michael Gove was given a ridiculous question and he was able to talk about football instead of actually talking about corruption. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. Why not become a Patreon and enjoy access to our Discord server where we share news, chat and have some fun? If you become a patron, you can also make video suggestions on topics that are important to you. Check it out via the link in the description.